do though is have this more out here because what you're going to have is a cone of defense out here, right? When it comes to that dagger out here, you're going to want this to be not a completely extended arm, but you are going to be a good leeways out here because you want this to be able to defend out here. Mm -hmm. If you're defending back here, you have no time and yeah. your opponent will get straight through. Yeah, that's not dead. Locally, they tend to like extend all the way. Oh, let them do that because that makes you look good, right? So, <laughs> so you get right in here, right? So we're in, that, we're in our stance here, okay? Now, show me you are ready. I'm going to run you through some commands here. So, uh, also two, I'm going to put those heels more in a line. There you go. The more out of alignment you are, unless you're a woman, which we're built differently, right? But you are not a woman. You are yeah. a dude. And you I, I do actually have a little bit of, my hips are a little bit on the wide side. That, um, that isn't that entirely possible. Now, what you're going to do, though, is you're going to put your heels in a line right now. Because you're, you're, you're a fairly lean guy. You're not, yes. uh, you know, I mean, you might think that you've got wide hips, but you're a fairly lean guy. So you're going to want to put your heels in alignment and then... Okay. Later on, if you're feeling that, yeah, just a slight bit wider is indeed more comfortable for you, and it's not sacrificing your balance, that's all That's okay. all well and fine. Yeah. But first, we'll, we'll start you off here. Okay. I actually noticed some like Olympic style effects when you take it further. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, that's, uh-uh. And also too, Olympic is entirely, yeah, they're, they're not scoring to survive. They are scoring just to win and play that game of tag better than their opponent does, right. so. We are trying to actually live through the encounter, okay? Now, show me, ready? Advance. Advance. Yeah, almost. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Advance. Retreat. 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 Cross back. Okay. Advance. Lunge. Recover. Okay, try that again. Lunge. Recover. Now notice what you're recovering back to, what your guard stance look like now. No, I mean your sword. Oh! Um, yeah, that's way up high. So here's here's where you're at. Yeah, so I, I, I was thinking I yeah. would be in contact with the... With here's me being you. Yes. And here comes your lunge, right? You get that lunge out there. Yes. And then you're recovering. And your sword's up here now. Okay. Mm -hmm. That would be one thing if you're lunging and then you are covering that line as you get back out of there. That's all that, well and fine. That's what I thought I was doing. Yeah, no, you were just kind of like very parallel to the ground and your, anybody's sword can go past that. Okay? So guard stance. For example, if I am standing in front of you, and I'm Tom Joe Schmuckatelli, high guard fighter, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you lunge, boom, I've got the parry here, right? Yes. Now, as I'm coming out at you, if you recover, right, and you've got your dagger in the right position, you can now defend yourself, and hopefully the, the fencing will continue here. Right. But what won't happen is, let's say we're single sorters, right? And I'm Joe, high guard guy, and you lunge to me, I get to here, right? And as I come back to you, show me, and we're going to go very slow, but show me how you would respond to what I'm about to do next, right? Because well, you should know by now. I, yeah, you're going to disengage and come to yeah, the chest. Yeah, but did you notice what you just did? You were on your way to coming underneath. Yeah. Why did you think that? I think I was trying to get around to kill you. Shortest distance between two paths, right? Between two points, okay? So if, for example, I lunge and my opponent parries me in the same way that I just parried you, right? Boom, yeah. they got me here. Now, yeah. do I know what path they're going to follow back to me? very likely towards your chest. Absolutely they do, right? So knowing that, what I'm not going to do is and take a long path to try and parry them, right? right. Instead, they're going to have it here and as soon as I feel when they're coming at me, it's going to be one of these. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Or at the very least, it's going to be one of these. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. So you're always going to follow that shortest path because it's going to remember, this is happening according to, you know, fractions of a second, mm -hmm. right? And this is going to be reflexive actions that are happening here, right. okay? So, guard stance. Okay, now, what I want you to do is to lunge here. Now, when, I re when I'm going to do my repose now, I want you to show me what it would look like. Okay, right? Nice and easy. Nope. What did you do wrong? Well, I, I double covered the line with two different weapons when I don't have to. That's not necessarily a problem, but what did you do wrong with your feet? I didn't move. You didn't move at all. And you know what happens on my repose? Uh, you, Hits you that much easier because you didn't have didn't, time to see, process, yeah. and respond, right? So guard stance, right? So I'm this guy. You lunge for me. Boom. And then I repost, right? Now, what you're going to do is simply recover out of that lunge. You don't have to... You're in your lunge, right? Yes. You don't have to 
this is not, you don't have to retreat out of this. Mm -hmm. And you're, to be honest, you're not gonna have time for that because it's, that's two temples it yeah. takes to do that, right? You're going to be here. Your retreat is actually gonna be the recovery up from the Lund, right? Because this is where we are. Mm -hmm. And now here is where we are now. That additional time you just gave yourself through the gift of space mm -hmm. that your opponent has to cross, that's the time you needed to see process and respond. Okay, so try it again. All right? So, you lunge to me, boom, I come back to you. No. Now, here's, watch this, then to the side. Watch me, here's me being you. Now I want you to watch this. What I do wrong? Um, kind of pulled this back. Up. Look at my footwork. Let's watch this again, right? Here we are. There's my lunge, and then here's my, what did my recovery look like? It kind of didn't really move a lot. Watch my back foot. If I just lunged, right, does my back foot move on the lunge? It should not. No, you're, you're gonna put it there, right? Now, mm -hmm. it might come forward a little bit because you stretched it out, whatever the case is, but you're gonna keep yeah. that position, right? So mm -hmm. you're doing this, now watch. Here's the lunge, and then watch what my back foot does when you're trying to recover. You're trying oh. to step out of it. No, 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 mm. get into the lunge, okay. and then watch. So it works slightly, also it's different from recover. Re retreat. It is different from the retreat. The ret Remember, what is the retreat? What's the purpose of a retreat? What's you're it do? Just, you're just uh, taking space. You're just gaining some space, right? You're moving your body from one point back mm -hmm. to another point, right? Yeah. Well, when you recover from a lunge, are you not doing that very same thing, right? You're out here, and now you're over here, mm -hmm. right? You have essentially increased the distance. You retreated away from your opponent on that recovery. Now, we call it a recovery, simply because it's on the end of a lunge that we just did. Right. But what if I was here, I hadn't lunged, and I just did this? What do we call that? It's doing the same thing. We're only calling it by a different name because of when it occurs, mm -hmm. right? So, okay. so I, you, I guess what was confusing me then is on the retreat, the back foot moves first. The back foot on, on the retreat will move first, yes. But when but you're recovering, recovery, it does not move. Okay. You're out here, boom, and then you're going to be here. Okay. okay? You, well, you don't want to try and step out of a lunge because I mean this right here is yeah this is and it's gonna be slow it's gonna be clumsy you're not gonna have balance all of those things that affect your fencing and makes it easier for your opponent to hit you okay so try it again all right so from there lunge to me boom now remember this position of that back foot right now recover ah oh, you just stepped again I did yes you did Wait till you see it on video. You're gonna see it, right? I, I swear. God. You're gonna you're gonna see it on video, right? Here we go. Ready? Again. Stay, ready? Lunge to me. Do not move that back foot. Ready? And recover. There you go. That time the black foot stayed where it's at. Now, here's the cool thing, right? When you're doing your lunge, people dragging up their back foot have a tendency to get way too close to their opponent. I mean, like, say for example, if that camera was my opponent, right? Or actually, I'll just use you, right? Stand here. Face me. When people do their lunge and they're dragging up that back foot, you have to be very careful about when you do and do not do that because if you're doing this, and I see this all the time, I'm not gonna actually hit you. They lunge at their opponent and they do this. Now, did you see how far my foot, I just dragged it up? Now watch what happens when I recover. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, you're not even, you don't even have to lunge in order to hit me, right? So, if I'm gonna drag that back foot up, it needs to be such that like from here, if I lunge right now, could I hit you? I don't believe so. No, I could not. But if I wanted to, I could reach out there on, say, a kind of flesh, right? Where I come out and I go, and I brought the back foot up with me. But now when I recover, watch. Thank you. And now I'm doing it from a distance where when I recover, I'm going to have distance between us, okay? After Sabre finals, no. small sword starting. Uh, so because Sabre ran over time, mm -hmm. we are going to...